Google now with all these acquisitions, they're getting into so many different areas. So they're getting into TVs, into autos, into watches, into driverless cars, into drones. I'll ask you the question you put to him. What is the glue that is holding all these businesses together for Google? Well, I think, you know, it, it's, it's the, the Google in, in the cloud, the smart Google that exists that we can access on any device seamlessly. And one of the interesting things they introduced at, at the I.O. conference was, you know, the tools where you're doing something on your phone and you move to your Chrome computer, you still carry it on se seamlessly there. And, you know, uh, the, people talk about, you know, much of that money, uh, the M&A, was to buy Nest, which right. is the you know, Internet of Things smart home company. Smart uh, thermostats. Most people People thought that Apple was going to eventually buy that. Uh, you know, the, the DNA is from Apple. The CEO Tony Fidel uh, was you know, the inventor of the iPod and you know, pioneer in the iPhone. But Google grabbed it. And the other <clears throat> significant investment was a company called DeepMind, artificial intelligence, deep learning stuff. And that really is the key to Google. It is an artificial intelligence company. Within your expertise on this, is this the dalliance of very successful people with very humongous cash flow, or is there an overarching strategy to bring these mergers in and actually make money with them? There's dalliance around the edges. You know, they, they're, they're not going to draw a firm line between whimsical and stuff which might be the next big business there. Um, but you know, the, the key is that it's an AI company that makes big bets on you know, you know, what we know of is the continuing improvement of, and of technology on a nonlinear fashion that enables people en enables companies like Google to do the impossible mm. if they're willing to do it. All right, help me understand how to think about Google. I can understand Amazon wants to sell me everything. Fine, I got it. What's Google? Like do everything, be everything? I mean, what is it? Yeah, okay, okay. The core the core is, you know, search and artificial intelligence, you know, that does everything for you by using you know the, the massive amounts of, of information that, that, that they can they can clearly store uh, know a lot about you and you know uh, serve all your needs by you know making use of that information mm -hmm. in, in an intelligent way and enabling you to do the same things they want to do the same things that they do magically in search right. they want to do for you in the rest of your life Michael Schulz as an investment manager how do you perceive Google do you perceive it like Intel or like Apple, or is it a beast unto its own? No, I think it always has been its own firm, even even when it was private. I mean, they, they've sort of had an internal mission. I mean, you talked about Amazon. You're right. Amazon wants to sell everything, but it's it, Amazon itself has its has its own mission. So and they too are buying drones. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think we'd look at Google as an as an incredible financial powerhouse with a lot of sort of luxury text stuck on top of it, some of which may end up to be financially important, some of it I mean, may it's almost like its own VC investment fund, right? Because there's so many different businesses well, that's pursuing all and you have to wonder and, and, and they do have a huge VC operation, yes. right, which has grown Google Ventures. much faster than people thought. But you have to wonder if this actually makes sense. If you look at earnings last week, Google was the star because of their core business, not artificial intelligence, because search, sales at search, up 22% year over year. Maybe they should be sticking with that. Well, if they stick with that, look at look at Microsoft. Microsoft did that. Microsoft did the cash cow strategy for years and years and years. They're still making money, but people aren't betting on them in, in, in the future there. Microsoft is not mentioned in the same breath as companies like Google and Apple and Facebook and Amazon. 